Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather hartwick and I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Appease by CCT Connie Green. Now this is a neat tangle in that it has lots and lots of options for decorating. Um, just a really neat tangle. I call it a freeform tangle because you can kind of uh, place it anywhere. Uh, you know, hence the name freeform. You can, it, you know, it is like a tangle within itself, but you can just, you know, place it different places. It's not like a, a fill-in tangle where, uh, you know, we have those repeated steps um, and we fill in a whole section, that kind of thing. All right. And did I mention this one is, I think it's super simple. Okay. Super simple. Now, the old... Mm -hmm. And super simple doesn't mean it's without some challenges. My first one was with making the the uh, funny uh, I don't know what you, I don't know how I call that. It's a square shape, but with you know pulled out uh, pulled out corners. So here's how I ended up doing this, and I did not put this on my step out. Maybe I should and and. Uh, re-put them out there. If I do, uh, then uh, I'll just automatically change it on the link that will be in the description section. But here's how I did that. I found I needed to do, and let's see, I'm trying to, I want to make sure, I, let's see, I'm going to make a really big one. Okay, so I started off with a curved line, slip my tile, and I'm going to do another curved line, working to try to keep them about the same. Actually, I, I want to... I think I can adjust this uh, coming out a little bit. Turn off these the sound here on my computer. And let me do that here too. Just a little bit. All right. Then, although I could uh, course correct this with this next step. So we have two sides of the box. We're going to do the other two sides of the box. This is kind of where you could course correct because we're going to do the same curved line, but we're going to trace over, you know, the uh, just these little edges. So Again, this is where you could course correct if needed. So I could start off a little bit out a little bit and then extend it a little bit if needed, right? Same thing over here. Yeah, because see, like this, yeah, because if I just go, you know, and then, yeah, well, like that. Well, this could have been a little curvier, but I think we can still course correct on that. We shall see. Now, next step, which could be the course correction. Pick a side, any side. I'm going to pick this side. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a spiral. And so the spiral is going to come out of the point. Uh, it, it, from from the one point, it'll go to, to both sides. But we're just going to work on this side first, okay? What I found helped me is I imagined where about the middle is. And this, this depends if you want your little spirals to butt up next to each other or not. That's up to you. So I'm going to do the uh, take off and land concept. And that is kind of like what we did doing this box. We're, we're tracing over a little bit. But this one, so it's kind of like, okay, we're taking off. And then we're doing the spiral. That's not quite halfway, but a well. And spiral. And we land in the middle. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. This one's way bigger, but it's okay because this is kind of whimsical at the same time as it's really, really pretty. All right, then I'm just going to flip to the opposite side and the same thing. This time paying a little bit more attention to where I want the middle of that. And I'm kind of doing mine sort of squatty-ish. Okay, and then here again. And so you can do your, your spirals however you want them. And it looks so cool. It's like a scroll. It's like a scroll, but uh, that you, you pushed it in the middle to make the sides push out like that. <laughs> it's kind of neat. All right. And then we're going to do the same thing on these opposite sides. And I have, did make my box rather big compared to, because I kept making it too small. So I think I've overcompensated, but that's all right. So these spirals go on all four sides. We did them in the step out um, opposite just to, to make it easy to see versus, you know, doing it, you know, just 
kind of, well, this is what you'll do, and you'll do that for all four, and, and not being able to see that on the step out. And then they, again, as you notice, I, you know, the, the takeoff and land is, is the tracing a little bit to get going. It just, it gives it a little bit different look. We use that on a number of tangles, um, but it's just, it gives a different look than if you just started at the tip and then went from there. It, it just does. All right, so that is essentially the tangle. That is it. And it's really neat. Um, there are lots of things that you can do, and I, um, to decorate, and let's see, you know what, I'm going to do the one thing, so I did do some decorating, but I just want to do this shading, I did it, because I, I was, as I was playing around with this, um, oh, no, I'm going to do it differently, I'm going to put just graphite, actually, you know what, I'll take that back, I'm going to use my number two golf pencil, because I want it to be kind of dark, and I'm going to put some of this on the inside. So I'm not going to go on the outside. And I'll show you some other examples of, of uh, things that I did with playing and shading. So like I said, this is essentially the structure. And then you get to just play and decorate if you want to. Uh, in the description box, as I mentioned, is my step out for this. But also I have um, Connie's step out uh, with some samples. And so then you can get some extra cool ideas on, um, you know, ways, other ways to decorate it. Um, you know, so if you're like me and I need help with those kind of things, it's like, oh, please give me ideas. After, after tangling for a while, though, I do get my own, but it is helpful just to see, um, and get in, you know, kind of borrow the inspiration from others, and that's nice. So this one, I just, I just, I wanted to, you know, kind of go extra dark and just see how that, whoa, see, that looks really, really neat. Actually, um, <laughs> it's like, if I was hungry, it kind of looks like Cinnabons, doesn't it? All in a nice little row. And that's something in the middle. I don't know what. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> um, something you could do. Well, it, it was one of those. You could do anything you want in the middle. Actually, I'm going to just, I'm going to do a quick. Well, let's see. We've done this. You know, I'm going to leave it like that because, like I said, I have some other, some other, um, examples but I'm not quite happy with that the way that is let's do this let's add some graphite maybe just just on some little edges here and we'll see what happens I didn't used to be so courageous <laughs> after a while like I said you know when when you're tangling a bit um, you, you kind of can kind of picture what something might look like and then can just do it or you just like I was like well let's just see what happens and we'll see if I, if I don't like it well well that's all right it's we'll add something else to make it even better but I think I'm liking this yeah just adds just some I don't know extra motion extra depth something and so I'm just doing yeah like I said on either side of these essentially And I'm, I'm working to just get a little gradient um, so I don't have any harsh lines. That's what oh, and I have to do this one right here. Oops, there we go. Yeah, so that looks kind of neat. It just, like you said, it, this is play. And this is, this is, you know, feel comfortable to play. Uh, if you don't yet, then that's okay. You keep practicing and following what other people do until you get comfortable. And then at some point, you know, like me, it might take several years, but <laughs> you'll 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 enjoy you know playing and, and and figuring out. Oh well, hey, I remember doing that, so let me try that again. So this is again, this is the basic tangle, and you can decorate it how you want. So here's one that I uh, I did some decorating. So I aurad in the center. You know, just kind of coming up. Um, most of them I meant to uh, have it, you know, be separate from here. But if you have enough room, you can make a nice little aura and do something like this. I put some straight lines in there. Put an orb in the center and some diamonds going out to those points. Because I thought that looked cool. And to aura the whole outside. Now, I mentioned it was freeform. And so this is another... Um, uh, 
another one where I just I put you know some different sizes and so this is what you can do with it is you, you know you do one somewhere on your tangle and then you can add more however however you see fit so it's kind of like a, a little self-contained tangle um, where like I said it's not necessarily filling in something but um, but looks really neat and uh, is, is definitely a tangle in its own right you could now Mm, just occurred to me, and I don't know if she did it on hers. Oh, let me, as I'm talking, let me peek and see. Um, uh, well, no, but I'm thinking you could, we could, you know, if you did these in a row, you kind of have to do the whole tangle, and then do another one. So we'll we'll pretend for a moment that this is this, and it's you know, and we could, you know, butt them up next to each other. Here's another one that I was playing with. Oh, it's not exactly. But you could, you know, put them in a row, and as long as you had it spaced right, where these spirals maybe butted up against these, mm, you could make it into a like a a border tangle. Interesting, interesting. All right, but that is up to your for your creativity to have fun with. And as I mentioned in the description section, you will find my step outs, a link to uh, Connie's uh, page uh, with this tangle on tangle patterns because she has some extra ideas for ways to decorate just to give you some inspiration. Uh, also, there's ways to connect with me in that description section. If uh, I do both paid and free classes, uh, Every Thursday, I do some free, I call it tangle time, so I take a tangle, and just kind of like I'm doing today, we just explore it. A tangle or two, uh, I plan for about an hour, so I try to see what, what, what will fit without rushing, and we have a really, really fun time, so um, would love to have you join. If you click on my website link uh, down below, or actually if you're on the channel, uh, on the header there, I believe that there is also a link. Um, and just find where it says classes on my website, tangleaddicts.com. And that will give you the information. And I have links directly there also on there are, are you know, ways to follow. So when I throw in an extra class, uh, you could be notified. Um, we also have a nice Facebook group uh, going on. It's Tangle Addicts Community. And there's a link there for that as well um, where we just, um, you know, share share things that, that we learn. Uh, it you know, from either the Tangle Times or some of the other sessions that I do, or these videos, you know, it, it's, a, it's a very nice community. So would love to have you join us. And if you like the video, would love to have a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, would love to have you subscribe to the channel. And uh, also make sure that you hit the notification bell so you can decide how you want to be notified, if you want to be notified at all. So with that, again, I hope you enjoyed, and I wish you Lots of happy tingling.